Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at the Kurt 2 inch ball for a ball mount. This is going to be for a 1 inch shank and have a weight capacity of 6,000 pounds. Now when choosing a ball to hook up to your trailer and tow, you obviously want to make sure that you have the same diameter as your coupler and this one's going to be a 2 inch ball so it matches up well with our trailer that we're going to tow today. The trailer is also rated at 5,000 pounds max capacity and this one has a 6,000 pound gross trailer weight rating so we are totally safe there. And some of your other components that you're going to want to make sure match up to the trailer weight is also going to be your ball mount the hitch and also the vehicle. So check all of those, make sure that you're not gonna be under the weight that the trailer could be, that way you're gonna stay safe. Now there's plenty of combos that you can come up with as far as your ball mount with a rise and a drop and also the ball because of the different sizes, but just make sure that the shank is gonna be the same. So this one is a one inch shank. You're gonna to wanna to check your ball mount to make sure that this tightens down and also your weight capacities need to play ball with all of the rest of the components. Now keep in mind, if you're choosing a separate ball and ball mount combo, you are gonna need to torque down the ball. Some of them you can get pre-torqued and that's a nice feature, but the ability to get the ball that you want means that you are gonna have to take a torque wrench to this and torque it down pretty heavy. And a lot of times you can use a bench vise. You see that there's some slats here. You can actually get a large wrench on this or you can put it in a vise. Something that I found that works really well is actually using the hitch of your vehicle and you can put a wrench here and that way your torque wrench is moving in a nice easy way. You're not having to move it this way. It just makes it a little bit easier to get this torqued. And that's nice too. The reason they don't come pre-torqued onto these is that way you can determine if you need a rise or a drop. So if you do plan on going from the two inch drop that we have here to the three quarter inch rise, you are gonna have to take this off and re-torque it down. Now if you need a torque wrench, we have those available here at eTrailer. You can generally rent them at an auto parts store Door. check the torque setting on the ball it is relatively high so make sure you have a torque wrench that can go up that high now something else to kind of keep in mind if you're using a ball mount this shank length is definitely perfect for a normal size ball mount but if you are doing any bumper towing sometimes you will need that longer shank so that's something to keep in mind that way it passes all the way down through your bumper so this again for most ball mounts this is going to work great so once you've determined the right ball mount and ball combination for your trailer, all that's left to do is get that ball torqued down, your pin and clip in place, and then we can start hooking up our trailer and the remaining components. And that was a look at the Kurt 2-inch ball mount with a 6,000 pound capacity and a 1-inch diameter shank.